that, Monty? Aren't you going to fish? Not for stupid tiddlers. I've got something as well! What is it? Look at my net! That is. Can you see it, Victoria? Look there! Yes. Look at it! It's so nice! It's in the corner. One. Just make sure none of you lot fall in. Where are you going? I'm going to watch the grass grow. It'll be more exciting than this. Oh. About those chairs you're going to take back. Once for the concert. Oh, I know, I know. Well, he says you can pick them up any time. Yeah. Trouble? Yeah. I think I've got to get a new distributor cap for this, so I'll go in there and do it this morning. Oh. Oi, Montgomery, what are you looking so cheerful about? I'm bored. I thought you were fishing with the girls. Fishing? Do you call newts and minnows fishing? He's loved hanging about the meadow pond. Yeah, well, he's growing up, isn't he? He wants other fish to fry, as I say. Mm. I suppose he'll hang about his room all day. No, he won't. Cos I'll need a hand with him chairs, won't I? Only another 50 to go. See, this old plaster needs looking at, Ted. The whole place needs a repair job. I know a bloke could fix it for you. So do I. Problem is, paying him. Well, not much in the old coffers, then, eh? Last time I looked, there was a couple of buttons and a dead spider. Everything is normal. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you came along. You're all wet. Yes. Might have drowned. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Are you a plumber? Please, is there a farm nearby from here? Yes, home farm. It's that way so far. Thank you. Who do you want to see? I want to see the owner. Mr. Larkin. Is that his name? Are you a camper? No. Mr. Larkin, you say? Are you looking for work? Yes. Can you chop wood? Of course. Well, well, that needs doing. My husband hates chopping wood. Love me, sweet, with all thy heart. Feeling, thinking, seeing. Love me in the lightest part. Love me in full being. Oh, Charlie, you make it sound wonderful. Thank you. Now, you try it. You're much better than any of the teachers at school. Thank you very much. Now, 
Take your time and try and think what Elizabeth Barrett Browning meant when she wrote that poem. I know what she means. She means she wants someone to love her. Do you know much about farm work, Peter? A little. I grew up on a farm. Where was that? In Denmark. Maybe Ma's got some jobs you can do. Ma? My mother. <laughs> Mr. and Mrs. Larkin are my parents. Oh, I see. This way. It's the most unusual name for an English person. You're short for Marie Antoinette. Oh dear, she lost her head, I think. If you think my name's odd, meet Zinnia and Petunia. I'm Victoria. Hello, ladies. I am Peter. Hello. May I see your fish? <sighs> uh oh. This one is a piranha. It's very dangerous. Dangerous? It's a minnow. It's harmless. Oh, really? Is that so? Ow! It bit me! Fish don't bite. No. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, look at that. Oh, it must be a two pounder at least. Got well, fish on the brain, you have. I wish we had fish like this in our river. So I decided to come to England to find work and to improve my English. Farming work? <clears throat> yeah. Tell me, Peter. Can you bale hay? Oh, we can do anything. Chop wood, mend taps. Yeah, all right, Marriott. We'll get the picture. <sighs> well, the hay it is, then. Yeah? Sure. My husband hates baling hay. I'm ready. Oh, I'll be show you where the pitchforks are. Oh, I'll do it, Ma. <laughs> Thank you for the interesting tea, Mrs. Larkin. <laughs> My pleasure, dear. My pleasure. Well, I think you've got enough to write your essay on Elizabeth Barrett Browning now, Primrose. I could never have done it without you, Charlie. Thanks awfully. Oh, I'm sure you'd have managed. Oh, hello. Oh, hello, Mrs. Kinsley. Hello, Mr. Charlton. Primrose. I do hope we're not trespassing. Oh, that's perfectly all right. You've got a very fine hop garden. Yes. But it won't be mine for much longer, I'm afraid. Why? I have to sell it. Oh? Oh, since my husband died last year, I just can't run the farm on my own. Enjoy it while you can. Come on, Ben. What are you looking at? I'm looking at this quarry. I wonder. You wonder what? I wonder how you go about buying a great big hole in the ground. Going? No, he did. Peter, 
This is my father, Mr. Larkin, and that's my brother, Montgomery. Oh. Hello, how do you do? Pleased to meet you. Yeah. I'm Hello. Hello. <laughs> you know that dodgy tub in our kitchen? Yeah. Peter fixed it. And he chopped all my firewood. And he bailed the hay. Oh. Well, I certainly kept you busy, uh, Peter. <laughs> well, I like to work. Is there, uh, please, perhaps somewhere in the village that I could stay? You're welcome to stay in our barn, Peter, since you're used to the camping lark. Thank you, that's most kind. I I'm sure there's something we can find for you to do around the farm tomorrow, isn't there, Pop? Hmm? Whoa! Well, <laughs> well, yeah. Well, you don't seem to be a stranger to farming, Peter. I grew up on a farm in Denmark. Hello, everybody. Hello, oh, sorry. Hey. Hey. Mariette, listen, I've oh, got an Charlie. idea. This is Peter. Oh, hello, how'd you do? I was looking at the hop garden on Mrs. Kinsley's. Oh, did he? Oh, thank you. Um, this hop garden. And that dodgy tap in our kitchen. Peter saw to it. Oh, good. Thanks very much. She was saying that she has to sell it, you see. Hey, Pop! Peter was saying that he wants to improve his English. Oh, does he? Well, he's come to the right place. Because <laughs> we parlay the old Queen's English most proficiently here, don't you, Mum? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Come on, Peter, I'll show where you can stay. Um, Mariette? Oh, Charlie, tell me later. Oh. This way, Peter. Well, now, we could have a rehearsal tomorrow if your daughter and her fiancé are free. Yes, that would be absolutely fine. Hello, Hello, Mr. Candy. Um, how... Uh, may I help you? I was wondering if you'd listen to a poem. Ah, um, I'm afraid we're a little bit busy at the moment, but... Love me, sweet, with all thou art. Feeling, thinking, seeing. Love me in the lightest part. Love me in full being. We'll look at it later, Primrose. Um, good day, Mrs. Arkwright. Shall we say tomorrow at, at six o'clock? Why, Mr. Candy, you've come quite red. I'm not surprised, Primrose. Mrs. Arkwright is chairman of the local watch committee. And we'll give her something to watch. Do... Oh, you're making things very difficult. Love me sweet with all thou art. Feeling, thinking, seeing. Love me in the lightest part. Love me in full being. <laughs> Hello. Can you tell me where is the nearest shop? I wish to buy some food. Oh, you're welcome to eat with us, Peter. <laughs> uh, you're most generous, but I like to be independent. Oh, well, Mrs. Dole's is in mm. the village. We'll show you. Yeah, come on. Yeah, come on. Hey, girls. I'm going to sit in the pub. You've had enough of this lot for one day, haven't you? <laughs> oh, dear. Well, he seems a nice enough fellow, isn't he? The girls seem to like him. Yeah. See that look in Marriott's eye and all. Oh, really? They'll keep Charlie on his toes, then. <laughs> <laughs> I'm quite fancy him myself. Now, that'll be enough of that, Flo Parker. We're not going to have no hanky panky with foreigners in this house. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and eight slices of bacon, please. <laughs> Rashers. Around here. He's staying with us. Oh, it's nice. These are my favourite gumdrops. Sydney, they're so greedy. And one bag of gumdrops also. Mm. And that'll be five and fourpence. Hello, girl. Hello. Hello. Hello, Miss Porchester. This is Peter. How do you do? How do you do? Oh. Peter's working on the farm, and he's an absolute wizard. Really? And I bet he'd do your garden if you asked him. Oh, I'm sure Mr. Allen isn't interested in digging over my little patch. I'm interested in any work I may find. Well, actually, my garden is absolutely ghastly at the moment. It could do with tidying up. Well, when I've finished with Mr. Larkin, I will to your place, Carl. Come to your place. It's foreign. <laughs> I'm sorry, my English is still a little... <laughs> Thank you. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Come along, ladies. Goodbye. Bye. Bye. You're blushing, Miss Protester. <laughs> Forgotten what I came for. Hello. Sherry Montgomery, one of your tricks. Oh, let the man have his dinner. That's all right. Come in. Sit down. Let me see. You two are twins, yes? OK. Think of the date of your birthday. Now, I want you to double the number, add 30, divide by 4. Right. Divide by 4. Yes? One moment, please. <sighs> Your birthday is on the 15th. Right. Yes, but which month? This month. Yes. Next week, in fact. How did you do that? Magic. It's my birthday. I'm sorry. I only have the strength to do this once a day. Didn't I tell you he was amazing? How's Montgomery today? I... Oh, he's all right. Moping about a bit. I'm worried about him. Why? Why used to be such a happy lad? Mm. Well, he's grown up, isn't he? I mean, the kids are too young for him nowadays, aren't they? Shame they have to grow up. Hmm? What do you mean? What was that? Oh, I'm having a much better time now than when I was a nipper. Hey, how about you? Depends on what I'm doing. What's that supposed to mean when it's at home, may I ask? Hey? Got to collect the eggs. Yeah, no, listen, look, I'm only dealing with you. You come back to bed five minutes, <laughs> and I'll get the eggs going. Oh, I know your five <laughs> minutes, Sydney, Larkin. The eggs will be hatched by the time you decide to get up. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> What's that? Nippy, isn't it? <sighs> Gives me frostbite just to look at him. He's got himself a nice looking body. Oh, yeah? Well, what do you call this? I call that very funny!
morning, Mr. Larkin. Hmm? Ah, morning, Peter. Oh, you're just a bloke, you are. What you like with gates and fences? So what I thought was this. If I can persuade the bank, we could buy the hop garden and supply the brewery ourselves. I mean, of course, I'll check with them first, but I don't see why we shouldn't make a real go of this, Marriott. What do you think? Marriott? You haven't heard a word I've said. Yes, I have. You were talking about hops, and last time it was strawberries. I wonder if your friend's any good at changing nappies. How's the vicar these days? How should I know? Because you seem to have become the poor man's shadow these last few weeks. I have not. I worry about Mr. Candy. He looks so thin. He needs fattening up. Do you think so? He needs a good woman to look after him. You know what they say? Way to a man's heart is through his stomach. Now then, Mr. Larkin, <clears throat> I gather you're interested in buying the quarry adjacent to Home Farm. Yes, yes, that's all right, if that's okay with you. Might I inquire why you should want it? It is quite uh, exhausted, you know. Yes, yeah, I know. It's... <clears throat> well, I don't know, I've just got this thing about I've always wanted a bigger hole in the ground. With a view to doing what with it? With what? The, um, the hole. Oh! Uh, well, nothing really, just... Go up there and have a look at it now and then. <clears throat> I will need written assurance you have no intention to build on the property. Build on it? <laughs> or build on a big hole in the ground? <laughs> I mean, who'd be daft enough to do a thing like that? I feel impelled to say, Mr Larkin, anyone daft enough to buy such a hole merely in order to look at it? Oh. Oh, yes. <laughs> I'll take your point. <laughs> Very good, sir. <laughs> I see you've got a nice sense of humour. <laughs> well, I suppose as long as you don't exploit the area commercially. Uh, commercially? No, I don't think so. No, mind you, I'll have to check with Charlie on that. Who, 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 who's Charlie? Charlie. Oh, Charlie, he's, he's my son-in-law. Well, I think he's my son-in-law. Because, you see, Ma and me, we're not married. He is. He's married. He's to my eldest, actually, to, to Mariette. So they're legal, you see. But, uh, see, I suppose I'm not legal. job. Oh, please, Miss Pilchester, this is too much. Oh, no, I insist. You've no idea how much I loathe digging. Can I help? Oh, they're from the church hall. I've been repairing. Yeah, let me help. You are most awfully kind and strong. Right. Morning, Big Good morning, Miss Pilchester. 
His garden needs a firm hand, too. I can see you would be good for business, Miss Pilchester. <laughs> This is Mr. Oh. My name's Peter. Ah, this is Mr. Watson. How do you do? How do you do? He is the most marvellous handyman. He dug my vegetable garden in one hour. Oh. Have a go at mine if you like. My lumbago's giving me jip. <laughs> Soon I must pay your commission. <laughs> this wall must be repaired. Well, everything will fall down. Don't tell me. Thing is, we can't afford it. It's not too difficult. I will do it. I can't pay you. Well, perhaps a few vegetables from your garden. You mean it? Sure. I can do it tomorrow. Pete, my boy, you're a real gent. Now, let's go and talk to the brigadier about his garden. Cheerio, then. You ain't English, are you? No. I'm from Denmark. Thought not. Catch one of our lot doing it for free. <laughs> How many trout are you talking about, Mr Larkin? Well, I don't know, really. What do you think? What, 300, maybe four? What about size? I don't know. I mean, what sizes have you got? We have small, medium and large. A bit like buying a shirt then, isn't it? Not really, no, sir. I mean, you've got some whoppers there, haven't you? I would suggest if you're stocking a lake, as you say, that you select the young breeds. All right, I'll tell you what we'll do. I'll have 200 tiddlers, 50 medium and 50 of your Moby Dicks. 200. I want them delivered. Here. Let me try some of that. Thank you. I'm so glad my daughter's wedding is in such safe hands. I assume this belongs to you, Reverend. Come on. Here, Primrose, this has got to stop. Dost thou think because thou art virtuous there shall be no more cakes and ale? <laughs> Come here. Now you listen to me, young lady. Don't you like it? Yes. Yes, it's very nice. But you must realize what sort of position you're putting me in, Primrose. I mean, you're 15 years old. I'm nearly 16. Juliet was younger than me. My dear girl, the Mrs. Arkwrights of this world do not pretend to be experts in romantic poetry. What they see, they regard as... Well, it's against the law. Then the law, sir, is an ass. Aren't you even going to taste it? Um. What are we coming here for, Pop? You'll see. Mm. Right. Put your rod in there. Pop, there aren't any fish in here. Who told you that? There aren't. Everyone knows that. Oh, all right. Do your old Pop a favour, just to please me. Put your rod in there. Please. I feel stupid doing this. See? Hey, 
I've got something. I've got one. It's a trout. Get away. Bless my soul. You've made it look like Kew Gardens. Really, it was not too much trouble. Attention! I've never seen such a first-class muster. Slope pumps! Dismiss! Do the soldiers pass inspection? <laughs> Every man jack of them. <laughs> well done. I tell you, sir, I've forgotten your name. Peter. Peter. Two, uh, two shillings, all right? Yes, sure. Thank you. I'd invite you in for a chota peg, but I haven't restocked the mess. Excuse me? Oh, I'm so sorry. I keep forgetting you're not English. I was saying I would have invited you in for a drink, but I haven't refilled the bar today. Thank you, but I have work at the village hall now. Uh, I must say it was a lucky day for us when you turned up. Won't be long now, my old beauty. Mm, she'll be glad when it's all over. Mm. Yeah, no, I always was. <laughs> well, I think we'd better take it in turns to stay up with her tonight in case there's any trouble. Mm. What I really want to know is if you would continue to take the hops from Mrs. Kempsey's field. <laughs> that depends. Depends on what? The quality. If they continue to be as good as they have in the past, then yes, we will. Quality's everything. Yes, of course. Why? Are you thinking about buying a hop garden or something? Yes. Do you know anything about growing hops? A little. Not much good knowing just a little. Well, I'd learn the trade, naturally. Stick it right in there and take a good sniff. If you, want to start, if you want to start learning how to make beer, there's no time like the present. Go on. Um, would you mind? Thank you. <laughs> well, lesson number one. Fermenting hops, give off a gas that'll knock you out. Bring me the quality of hops Mrs. Kintley produced, and you'll be in business. Oh. Then he said you'd divide by four. Uh, Eleven. It still isn't right. My birthday's the 7th of May. You didn't hear him properly. I did! I know how he did it. <laughs> how? Well, I think I can work it out. Right, girls, what vegetables do you want for supper? Cauliflower, cheese and baked beans. Like your time's come, old girl. Oh. Is she ready now? Yeah, looks like it. I'd better get Pop. No, no, there's no need to wake him. You've been midwife to a cow before then, Peter. Yeah, a few times. One more push. Come on, one more push. Oh. Yes. 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 
Exactly now, Jesse. Now. Oh. Yeah. Does she breathe? Yes. <laughs> hey, she's got a beautiful bouncing baby. Baby what? <laughs> it's a baby girl. A baby girl. Is she all right? Thank you. Surprised you weren't married. Good looking young chap like you. Well, one day perhaps. You got a young lady? Someone in particular? Yes. In Denmark, is she? No. No, she's here in England. When are we going to meet her? It's a little bit difficult. Oh. I'll see. <laughs> her name is Eileen. Mm. Very pretty. Thank you. Why is it difficult to meet her? Does she live a long way away? No, not very far. But it's complicated. Oh, here you are. Oh, Peter. How's Matilda? Mother and daughter doing fine. Oh, you mean she's popped? Yeah. Thanks to Peter. He sorted out a little problem for the old girl. I was going to wake you, but he said he could manage, and he did. We managed, Mrs. Larkin. Cool. Well, well done. <laughs> Thank you for the breakfast. Yeah, you go and have a spot of chateau. You deserve it. Yeah. Good night. Yes, good night, Peter. Oh, um, good morning, what? Peter. <laughs> good morning. <laughs> well, he's turning out to be in a... Bit of a treasure, any? Ah, uh, Peter. Go on, I'll be able to retire at this rate. Calf was the wrong way round. Was he really? Mm. But he went smooth as silk. We owe a big vote of thanks to that young man. Yeah. <sighs> You're right. We'll give him one. We'll have a bit of an ease up tonight, just to show our appreciation. <laughs> That'd be nice. Mm. <sighs> Thank you, dear. Two eggs or three? Three. And I would do them. Mm -hmm. I will make them. Come on. Mm -hmm. You go and have a nice kick. Sweetheart, go on. You deserve it. Mm -hmm. Off you go. Mm -hmm. All right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Cats don't have two names. This one does, because she's special. Mom said Peter delivered her. Peter can do everything. Like he was around. Oh, I don't know. I'm sure Matilda would manage perfectly well on her own. But still, it's a good job Peter was sleeping on the farm. Yes, it was. A very good job. Do I detect a touch of the green-eyed monster? There's no need to be like that. Well, I'm afraid I'm getting a little bored hearing how Peter's such a wonderful chap. Well, he is. Well, the village seems to think so. There must be something wrong with him. Now, that's what I call a job well done. Well, he's a jack of all trades, is our Peter? You're most kind. Yeah. And now I think you ought to get another sort of plastered. <laughs> I'm sorry? You will be. <laughs> Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen, just going to have your attention just for one moment, please. I'd like you all to raise your glasses. Join me in a drink to Peter. Oh, oh here. Good on you, mate. God bless you, sir. Here, here. Peter. Yeah. I don't know what to say. Well, it's easy what you say. You say, 
bottoms up and then we'll get them all in again, see? <laughs> <laughs> go on then, what in you go, come on. Another round of your lovely, delicious opening ale. Yeah. Come on, Peter, where you go, what do you say, skull or whatever it is you say, go on. Bottoms up. Bottoms up. <laughs> <laughs> I must say, I've never seen my roses look so trim. Oh, and my wall, uh, very adequate. And my vegetables are a joy to behold. Yeah, I can vouch for that. <laughs> <laughs> What about, what about a speech then, eh? Speech, yes, yeah. very good speech. Oh. Come on, come on, Peter, speech, speech. <laughs> steady, steady on. <laughs> you know what these foreigners are like when it comes to the old water works. <laughs> I have never been made to feel so welcome in all of my life. Mm. I feel that here, I am among my best friends. My very best friends. Very good. Very good speech. Very good. <laughs> uh, also, we give three cheers for Peter. What about it? Come on in. Hooray! Hooray! You said you were Danish. This isn't a Danish passport. No. As you see, I'm German. He's what? Ooh. German? But why say you're from Denmark? Well, I'll be. He's a bleeding kraut. May I have it, please? was Danish, Brigadier. Wait, wait a minute, wait a minute. What's the problem? I mean, Denmark, Germany, what's the difference? They're just like Swanley and Sika. No, actually they're not. A German. I think I will leave now. Where are you going? Why are you looking at him like that? <laughs> yeah, this is daft. He's still Peter. You're the one who delivered Daisy Martha and helped everybody in their gardens. And... I'm not having any Nazis round here. 
What do you say, Brigadier? I mean, we all had a belly full of them in the war, bombing the living daylights out of us. Now, look, I didn't mean to imply that Peter was... Just a... stupid. I don't care where he comes from. Must admit, it's a bit strange, though, Peter, calling yourself Danish, isn't it? No, Mr Larkin, it's not strange at all. What I mean is, why bother to hide the fact that you're German at all? The answer to that lies in the face of Mr Watson here. Yes, I'm German. I've had this reaction many times in England before. That's why I say I'm from Denmark. I understand why you feel the way that you do. I think it's best I leave now. Oh, Lord. It's all my fault. You ought to be careful who you take on here, Sid. You could upset a lot of people giving work to the Hun. I think it might be better if I... You too, General. I'm sorry, Larkin. You seem such a charming man. But he hasn't changed, Edith. It's just because he's not what he says he was. What's in a name? That which we call a rose by any other name would smell as sweet. I just can't believe my ears. I just don't believe this. I mean, five minutes ago, we were all raising our glasses and saying he was the best thing that ever happened to this place. And now we're treating him like a war criminal. I think everyone's being very horrid. Me too. Girls. Well, we did fight two wars against his lot. You shut up, Monty. Just shut up. I hope you're satisfied. Please don't go. It's best for everyone. No, it isn't. Believe me, Marriott. I've had this situation many times before. It's best I leave. I'm sure they think different about it tomorrow. But some people never change their minds, Marriott. I'll feed his left his shaving mirror behind. Oh, I've been all over the place. No sign of him anywhere. Well, they still don't understand why I had to leave. I don't know what I'm going to tell them. Well, it's easy, isn't it? You just say, the thing is, kids, that I know Peter was a terrific bloke, then we found out he was German. So, obviously, he's not so terrific anymore, is he, eh? Anybody seen him? No. He can't have gone far. Well, maybe he hitched a lift. I don't know why I had to open my big mouth when I saw he had a German passport. We'll find him. Then you can say you're sorry. I doubt if he'll ever want to come back here. 
Yeah. <clears throat> well, well, he's sort of fairly tall. He got fair hair, slim build. Yeah, and he speaks with a judge, uh, a foreign accent. Oh, right, all right. Well, look, if you do see him, just give me a ring, will you? <clears throat> Still looking for our tutor? And where do you think you're going, dressed like that, young lady? Just threw on a few rags, that's all. You threw on a few rags? It looks like half of them missed. You must know. I'm going to church. Oh, well, that's... You're going to church? Hey, hey, Prim... Ah! Yeah, hello, George. Yes, Sid Larkin. For goodness sake, Primrose, don't do that. Mr Candy, I've been giving something a lot of thought. Oh, Lord, what is it now? No, no, better still, don't tell me. There's no-one else I can talk to. There must be. What is it? I'd like to go on to the next step. The next... What do you mean, the next step? Why, Mr Candy, you're a man of the cloth. You ought to know what the next step is. It is... You mean, um... I want to be confirmed. Um... You're absolutely certain about this, are you? Absolutely. Uh, but Primrose, confirmation is not something a person should undergo lightly. It, uh, it requires a great deal of study. I know. But with the right teacher, I'm sure I can do it. Oh. Pound of tea. Ketchup and brown sauce. How's Mr Dawes today? He's all right. Eight pounds of sugar. How's that rheumatism of his? Anything else? Is there anything the matter, Mrs. Dawes? If that's all. I said, is there something bothering you? My husband fought in the war, and he says it's wrong to go round giving jobs to Germans. Oh, so that's what this is about. There's good, strong English lads need the work, and you go letting a jerry in, giving him free board and lodging. It's not right, my husband says. What do you say, Mrs Dawes? I agree with him. Oh, you do? Well, I'm sure the respectable members of the village wouldn't want you to go serving people who let the jerry in, as you put it, so I shall go elsewhere for my groceries. Well, I'm not the only one to think so. People round here, they remember the war, the so bullets... So do I, Mrs Dawes, but what's Buzzbomb's got to do with a nice young man who helped a lot of people with their gardens and had everybody singing his praises? Ah, oh, well, that was before we knew who he was. Oh, so now we know he's German. We've got to change our minds, have we? Oh, I don't know. Well, you'd better ask your husband. He seems to tell you what to think. Oscar, I am so mad I could spit. Oh, I made it clear what I thought about him the other night, Sid, and I ain't changed my mind. Patched your wall up for nothing, though, didn't he? He did. That's when he was pretending to be from Denmark. Well, now that you know he's a German, you better take the path off again, then. I mean, you can't go round telling people that this village hall was done up by a blinking hun, can you, Ted? Hey? Brigadier, can I ask you a question? Yes, of course, dear lady. What did we fight the last war for? Oh. Well, we fought it to show that we weren't going to be told what to do by, well, by people like Hitler. So we could think what we like and make up our own minds and so on? Yes, that's the sort of thing. Why, Mrs Larkin, you look rather cross. I am. In fact, I'm mad as hell. Oh, dear. I suppose it's to do with... Oh, with this young German chappy. Peter. You know his name as well as I do. At least you did when he sorted out your garden for you the other day. He won't be doing that anymore. He's moved on. Sieg, Heil! Sieg, Heil! Sieg! 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 S
Dad, you said... Don't oh. alter me back. Oh, Dad. Oh, I thought you were getting the groceries. What I'm getting is flaming angry. Mm. You've had some of this Peter business and all then, have you? Yeah, I've had it up to here. Well, it's no good losing your rag, Mark. They've got it in for him and that's it. There's nothing we can do about it. like the Jerry's. You give them money. I can't see no sign. Can you, boys? It's yours for sure. In there. Here, Peter. Yeah? I'm sorry, mate. I've got to let you go. Why? You're not satisfied with my work? No, it's not that. Then why? You ain't got no cards. No work cards. Mark Gaffer says you've got to have cards to work with us. I'm sorry to lose you, son, but there it is. So we've been talking it over, and we'd really like you to come back with yes. us. Yes. I cannot go back with you already. There's much too much trouble. Well, there isn't, Peter. There's just a couple of old fogies who can't forget the war. Marriott, I've had many times this situation before. That's why I'm always moving on all the time. Moving on isn't the answer, Peter. Perhaps. 
But I don't know what is the answer. Except to do what people like Mr. Watson always say, go back to Germany. Look, you lost your job because you didn't have any insurance cards, yes? No. Well then, let's find out how to go about getting some. What can you do? I used to be in the civil service, I know who to ask. You must not waste your time trying to help me. No one thinks they're wasting their time. Really, Peter, I mean it. Please come back, Peter. The twins miss you. They love their birthday presents. They want to thank you. You've really got a lot of friends at home, Farm. Hello? Who is it? Um, Primrose, is that you? I'm afraid not. It's only Joyce, your sister. Joyce! Oh. You hadn't forgotten I was coming, John. Well, of course not, no. I'm sorry. <laughs> so where are your things? I dropped them off at the vicarage. And uh, who, may I ask, is Primrose? Um, she's one of my parishioners. Who wants ice cream? Oh, yeah, <laughs> Here are then. Go on, sweetheart. Take Oski Post. Are you all right, darling? Go on. I like John Fleming's physical. Well, what are we looking for this time, then, Mum? Nothing, really. Just like jungle sales. Oh, yes. oh, good afternoon, Mr. Larkin. How much is it? Um, it would be eight pence. It's all right, there you go. Keep the change. Thank you. Here you are, sweetheart. Before you go. Here you are. All right, thank you, Edith. Hello there, Sid. Yeah, hello. Anything you fancy? Hmm? No, not yet. It's always a pleasure to see you and the missus. Pleasure? Got a very different impression last time we spoke. Oh, um... Yes, um... Look, see... Uh, maybe I was a bit sharpish over that German bloke. Sorry at that. No hard feelings. No. Oh, good. <laughs> Lee said, soon as mended. Mm -hmm. Mrs. Larkin. Oh, could be Mrs. Dawes. These are rather nice. They're only a shilling. Ninepence to you. What you do me a favour for? Well, I felt rather badly about. No, no I don't know. The other day in the shop, when I got home, I said to Mr. Dawes, I think I've been rather rude. Oh. What did he say? He agreed. Uh, can't we let bygones be bygones, Mrs Larkin? Make the booties a tanner. Uh, Chief Fourth Highlanders, unless I'm much mistaken. You say so, General. Yes, <laughs> Larkin. That, that's my hat, Larkin. Oh, is it, General? Sorry. Oh. <laughs> how's, uh, how's your dear lady this afternoon? Fair enough, boy. Well, she seemed a bit hit up the other day. Over that young German chap, I suppose. Peter, was it? Yes, Peter it was, General. She was hit up, but she wasn't the only one, neither. Damn shame. Nasty business. The trouble is that people have long memories. Oh, long memories, is it? Yes. The war and so on. Oh, I thought the trouble was short memories. Seems to me that people around here can't remember longer than a day or two back. I mean, take you. He looked after your roses, didn't he? Hey? He patched up the wall on the village hall and he sorted her vegetables out. Isn't that right, Edie? Right about what, Mr. Larkin? Better ask the general. Oh, come on, Larkin. After all, it's water under the bridge, isn't it? What do you mean? Well, the lad's gone. You sent him on his way. I did what? Um. 
Will, uh, we understood that he was no longer with you. That he'd uh, left. Oh, and you thought that I'd given him the order of the boot, and that's why I'm getting all the teeth and smiles in, is it? All right, see? Oh, dear. Nancy, the wicket's got a bit sticky again. You're dead right there, General. And I'm going to bowl a few googlies. Here, listen, Ma. Hello, You're... Mr Larkin. How nice to see you here with your charming wife. Yes. Well, now you see us, Mrs Dawes, and now you don't. Come on, Ma, we're going. Come on. We don't want those. Thank you. Hey, Prince. Prince. Come on, put that down. Believe me. Come on. Where is everybody? Come on, kids, everybody, we're going home. Come along quickly now. Oh, you are. Come on. That's why they were being all so palsy wowsy, wasn't it? They thought that I'd done what they wanted and chucked him out on his neck. Well, I know you didn't, and you know you didn't, so just stop getting so worked up about it. Yeah, I know. Well, it's not the point, is it? Come here. What's happened to you? Oh, I fell off my bike. Fell off your bike, my foot. You've had a fight with one of the village boys, haven't you, I bet? Oh, it's my business. And it'll be over that Peter, wouldn't it? First, there is a deficit in the community fund of five pounds, three shillings, and four pence. However, the proceeds of last week's whist drive uh, have yet to be totted up, and this could reduce the amount. Sorry to interrupt your meeting, everybody. This won't take a second. Peter, please come in. All right. Right, I think most of you know Peter. Now, you all think that I told him to sling his hook because he was a German. Well, I didn't. And to prove it, I've asked Peter to stay on with me at home farm for as long as he likes. And if anyone has got anything to say about it, you come and tell me to my face. All right? Come on, Peter. Let's leave these upright citizens to be about their business. Seems to me you need a bit more work on these walls, Ted. I'm wondering if that was a wise thing to do, Mr. Larkin. Thought about wise, Peter. Certainly made me feel a damn sight better. Uh, <clears throat> I, I would like to propose a motion to ask the authorities to remove this person from our village. Yes. Anybody second the motion? Let the record show, Mr. Dawes. Mr. Chairman. Uh, the uh, chair recognises the Reverend. I would merely like to point out uh, two things. Firstly, I think you will find the authorities have no power to remove Peter since he has committed no crime. Secondly, I would be failing in my duties if I were to agree to victimising a person solely on the basis of his race, religion or creed. Yes, thank you, Reverend. Your objections are noted. Uh, Brigadier. 
Well, I wonder, Mr. Chairman, if we might have a show of hands on the matter. Those in favour of the lad staying, and those against, that sort of thing. Very well. Who would like the German to remain? <laughs> really, Brigadier, I thought you fought the last war to get rid of people like that. With respect, I believe I fought the last war, dear lady, to get rid of intolerance. Well done. Those against? Well, looks like the nose have it. Good. Oh, no, Mr. Chairman, I object. I'm too late. Too late. Here we go. Come on. Here you are. So, here, tell us, Peter. Were you in the forces then at all? Yes. I was in the German army. Go on. Well, there you are. I suppose we all had to do our bit. I don't suppose you had much choice. No. You have to do much fighting. I didn't really get the opportunity. Oh? Why not? It's most embarrassing. What was? The war was nearly over. I am with 15 years old only. Hitler is calling up schoolboys to fight. I'm sent to Jersey, to your Channel Islands. Oh, yes. 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 On the second day, there is a commando raid by your soldiers. And I am captured. Oh, on the second day? Well, no. <laughs> <laughs> the second day? <laughs> <laughs> on the second day, I am sent to England, where I spend the rest of the war working on the land. That was my whole time as a soldier in the German army. Oh, <laughs> Spending please. your time feeding us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it was here that I learned about farming and... I learned to like England. Oh, oh well. <laughs> well done. Yeah. So, mm, Peter, I'm going to pronounce you an honorary Englishman. Oh, honorary. <laughs> yes. How's that? Eh? Hey? Cheers. Cheers, Peter. Cheers. Bottoms up. Oh, <laughs> very good. <laughs> now we have to get your permission to work here, Peter. Ah, yes. Now, I've spoken to a friend of mine in the Home Office, mm -hmm. and he's going to look into it. <laughs> On the second day. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait till the village hears about this. I bet they'll see the funny sign and all. We should be sure of that, Ma. Anyway, now, I'll tell you what I'm going to do now. Now, listen, everybody. I'm going to make us all a nice cocktail. Yay, oh, yeah. 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 Rolls Royce. What are you doing? I'm filling in my tax return. <laughs> What's to fill in? Well, we don't want a visit from the Inland Revenue. Oh, I don't know. Well, I fancy the last chap they sent round. Oh, did you? Mm. Yeah, bit of all right, that one. And here's me, thinking you preferred the athletic outdoor type. No. Give me a tax man any day. Mm. Hmm. All right. Thanks, Jeff. Bye. 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 Peter can't get his insurance card until he's been resident for at least six months. Until then, he isn't supposed to work at all, but he has to show means of support. So he could carry on working on the quiet. But if he gets caught, he won't be allowed to stay at all. Unless... Unless what? Unless he gets married. Married? Charlie says the only way Peter can stay here and be allowed to work is if he marries an English girl. Oh. Mm -hmm. Well, it's always Primrose. Oh, you. <laughs> no, you're right, she's a bit young. Anyway, I think she's stuck on the vicar. No, he's got a girlfriend. Good. Peter. He showed me a picture. Oh, well, that's all right, then. That's it, then, isn't it? Where is she? Didn't say. Only she's English. 
No, oh, good. That's all right, then. Settled. No problem. Yeah, but, Pot, what if Peter doesn't want to marry her? Well, I think he does. That's why he came back. He said it was complicated. Well, we just have to uncomplicate it, then, won't we? Well, who's going to do that? Yeah, me too. Ty's got John Lennon. <laughs> Come on, dear. <laughs> oh, Peter. Right. Believe me, Mrs. Larkin, nothing would give me more pleasure than to marry Eileen. I settled then. No. Why, right, Peter? I can't believe she don't want to marry you. There is a problem. With the parents. Oh. The old problem. Oh, this German business. Yeah. Hold on, how old is she? She's 25. Well, there then, she don't need their permission to get wed. That is true. So why don't you propose to her? Eileen is very much fond of her parents. And also her mother is not well. But she loves you. Yes. Mm. So, what kind of a girl don't listen to what her heart tells her? I told you, Mrs. Larkin. It is complicated. Why does she live this Eileen? It was a wonderful sound of it. I was very impressed. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, this is my sister, Joyce, Miss Pilchester. Oh, I'm very pleased to meet you. Your brother is very popular in our village. Oh, I... Well, I expect I shall see you again. Goodbye. Goodbye. Oh, no. What? Primrose. Remember, John? Compassion in all things. Oh, Joyce, Joyce, come back. I Joyce. must rearrange the flowers. Uh, I'm ready for my confirmation lesson, Mr. Candy. Um. Um, how are your parents? Very well, thank you. And uh, your sister, Mariette? She's very well, too. Oh, good. And uh, the new baby. <laughs> Mr. Candy, can I ask you a question? Um, yes. Do you think we should fight our natural instincts? Um. I love you. On, Sid, we're going for a drive. What about dinner? We'll have to wait. <laughs> All right, I'm coming. You stay here, I'll handle this. All right, Mom. for a Miss Eileen Stone. That's me. Oh. Uh, well, you don't know me, but uh, I'm... Uh, that's we. Are friends of someone called Peter. You're Mrs Larkin? Yes, that's right, dear. He wrote me a letter. He's been staying with you, hasn't he? Yes. Eileen? It's all right, Mum. It's only for me. Is that your mother? No. Please, she isn't well. Oh. Oh. Why not cut 
Betty, you're Eileen's mother. I've heard so much about you. Who are you? My name's Flo. I thought we might uh, have a little chat about Eileen. What about her? I've brought a message for her. A message? Who from? Peter. <coughs> Marry her? Oh, no. Oh, no. That's quite out of the question. Why is that, Mrs Stone? Why is it out of the question? I need someone to take care of me. I am not well. I need constant attention. She can never leave me. Never. Hello there. It's Eileen, isn't it? It's all right, I'm Sid Larkin. Oh, hello. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Very nice house. Go away. You've no right poking your nose in here. Eileen doesn't like him. He's German. <laughs> you know something, Mrs Stone? I don't think it'd matter if Peter was the... Prince of blinking Wales. You don't want to lose a free skivvy. That's what this is all about, isn't it? Lived here all your life, have you, Arlene? Yes. That's probably why you don't want to leave. <laughs> now you got used to everything. My mother's not well. Yes, I know. I know Peter told me. How is he? Peter? Oh, he's all right, I suppose. Lonely sort of chap, isn't he? He sends me a letter every week. Is he? Ooh, that's very nice, isn't it? It's funny that, though, isn't it? Eh? You know, him living with us and you living here and you two not getting together. My mother gets lonely. He was always your dad, though, isn't he? I suppose so. Tell me something, Eileen. Oh. Um... How old are you? 24? 25? 25. 25. God, doesn't time fly? When I was your age, I'd learned something. And that was to grab every day. Don't let the weeds grow around your feet. Because one day they'll be so high that nobody will be able to see you at all. Sick. No, all right, come in, Ma. All right, honey. Hello, the shop for some pills. They're for his seasickness. He's a terrible sailor. Same every year. I only have to mention the channel and he goes green. He's going away? Yes. Venice. We're so looking forward to it. Who are you? My name's Joyce. I bet you are. Let me guess. Primrose. Yes, but John's told me all about you. He has? Oh, yes. He's been trying to decide who will take your confirmation lessons while we're away. Like most men, he can hardly make a decision for himself. That's why he needs me, Primrose. No, Primrose? You! You! Ruby! What earth was all that about? I think it was about the end of your problem. Oh, really? <laughs> Oh, well, that would be a really... Poor thing. Can't help feeling you encouraged her, you know. Oh, I, I, I did no such thing, Joyce, anyway, really. Anyway, I... I doubt she'll continue her confirmation lessons now. Not with a... a blue beard. <sighs> ah, 
Mr. Charlton. Sorry to have kept you waiting. Not late, am I? No, 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 no. Mrs. Kinsley, you mentioned the other day that you intended to sell the hop garden. That is so. To a property developer, I believe. Well, I have had an offer. May I ask whether you've accepted it yet? You may. The answer is no. But I have to tell you, it is a very tempting price. I see. Well, I suppose I may as well come right out with it. You may as well. I would like to buy the field from you. However, I'm sure that whatever I bid will come nowhere near what they're offering. All I can say is this. I promise to continue to grow hops in this field, Mrs. Kinfley. I've been to the brewery and... Well, I intend to go on a course to learn the business. I don't want houses on a place that's been a feature of this landscape for many years. I wouldn't change a thing. Now, you may be on the side of progress, I don't know. But I would be most awfully grateful if you'd consider my idea before you make up your mind. Well, I promise you one thing, Mr. Charlton. I will most certainly think over what you've said. I'll tell you one thing, Mark. Mm -hmm. What? You won't have to clean the kitchen floor today. Primrose's chin's doing a wonderful job. Leave me alone! <laughs> oh. oh. Thank you. Now let's see if we can bring a smile to Montgomery's lips. I heard he had a fight with John Watson and he's scared to go out fishing. That's not true. Shut up, Victoria. It's what I heard. <sighs> Montgomery! No! What? <laughs> Thank you for the lunch. My pleasure, Peter. Mm. Hey. Mm. Oi, Larkin. We're up here. What you gonna do about it? Loopy, loopy, Larkin. Sticks and stones won't break my bones. Cut this for a bit of bait. What names will never hurt me. Here's another one. Hey, Larkin! Come on, Larkin. <sighs> this will get him up here. Oh, yes, nice one, son. Let him have it. Yeah, let him have it. Hey, John! Hey, John, be careful! Ah! Help me! I'm falling! I can't swim! John, hold on. Where are you off to? Oh, stay out on the spot of business, that's oh. all. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. Woo! Won't be long. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> John's falling! What? I'm on the ground, he's gonna go for the bottom run. Calm down, calm down, Montgomery. Let's say it again, what is it? John Watson's fallen over the cliff, he's hanging up there! Oh, all right, now stay there. Peter, apparently there's been an accident up in the quarry. I'm gonna fetch a rope. Look, you can you get off up there. John, help is coming. Can you hold on? Hold on for just a little bit. Where is he? What is he? He's just caught on the edge. Oh, my God. Right. All right, listen. Oh, God, oh, God. I'm going to tie this end round me. You lot get hold of the other end of this rope, and you'll have to lower me down over the other yeah. side. When I, when I get hold of him, I'll give you a holler and you'll have to haul me back up. Mr. Larkin, let me do it, please. I'm lighter than you. It's all right, Peter. The boy knows me. He trusts me. Please, Mr. Larkin, we must have someone strong at this end of the rope. Please. I must do this. Please. All right. All right, go on, then. Go on. Off you go. What are you going to do? Listen. Montgomery, 
Take that end and secure it to the lorry. Go on. Get behind me. Get behind me. Take the rope. Get. All right. OK. Steady. Okay. Off you go, Peter. All right. All right. Slow it gently. Go on. Steady, boys. Let him go. Go on. More. That's it. Keep him going. I'm slipping. Help me. Go I on. can't swim. All right, Peter. Now another eight feet only. Go on, steady. Help. Go on. All right, Peter. More. Steady, boy, steady. Stop! Stop! Hold it! One more feet. Stop! John, look at me. Do not look down. When I say, I want you to take hold of my right arm with your left hand. I can't. Yes, you can. I can't. You can do it, John. Now, when I say the word, I want you to take this arm. Now. Good, good. A little bit more. Can you do it? Now. With your right arm, I want you to take hold of the rope. Yes, yes, good, good, John. Now, when I say the word, put your left arm around my neck. You ready? Ready. OK. Now. Good. Pull! Right. Now, come on, pull! 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 Come on! Come on, boys. That's it. Well done. Come on. Pull. Hold on tight. Pull. Come on. Pull. That's it. Come on, boys. Pull. He's coming. Come on. That's it. Good boy. Come on. Keep it coming. Come on. Pull. All right, they're here now. Come on. All right. All right. You're all right, John. All right. Oh, okay. Go on. You're safe now. You're safe now. You're all right, John. Come on. 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 Come well done, Peter. Well done. If the authorities won't do anything, we will. Quite right. I think we should make sure he doesn't get any services in the village. Mr Dawes and I have agreed not to serve him in the shop. Well, it's legal. We can serve who we like. Right. Do we all agree? You can't come in here, John. I think he's got something to say to you, Ted. You let your risks do the work. That's it. It is better to have loved and lost than never to have loved at all. You'll find someone else. Why can't all men be like you, Charlie? Where's Pop? He had a phone call. For all the excitement, the quarry. Shut off somewhere. Oh, there he is now. It's a shame Peter can't stay in England. Yeah, I know. I'm going to miss him. Mm. Everybody is. Get the plates out of the warmer. There's a good girl. Rest of the veg are in the <laughs> oven. Ah. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Ooh, that looks nice, doesn't it? <laughs> Where have you been? Oh, I had a phone call. I know. All well, very mysterious. Mm -hmm. But the mystery is solved. Ta-da! Well, blow me down with a feather. 
Eileen rang. Told me she changed her mind. <laughs> Hello. 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 I changed my mind. fish doing? Lovely. Mm. Do you know what I think they need? A nice drop of champagne. Oh, yeah! yeah! Champagne, everyone! Yeah! 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 Perfect.